So you and your partner Samsung have been way out in front here on Oracast. I mean, it was a, a year and a half ago where I was able to use the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. What was Google's rationale for embarking on the Oracast development path so early? Yeah, it's a great question. For one, we are super excited to be, you know, the first mobile OS to integrate LE Audio and Oracast together. Um, we're excited because of the, the promise that, that you mentioned, you know. Many people use Android. There are billions of folks who use Android out there in the world. And so what a special opportunity is it for us to support the adoption of something like Oracast so that it can be ubiquitous. So it can be easy for users to go into sports bars, to go into train stations, to go into cinemas, and to be able to easily connect using their phone to um, the Oracast stream. So it's, it's one of many reasons why we're very excited. Okay, and did you look at it as a mass market application or an accessibility application or both? I think both were excited that LE Audio is the latest Bluetooth protocol and it has many benefits. Um, including that within hearing aids. And, and, and today we talked about Oracast, but in January, actually, you might know, we announced some other cool features that we were able to use using the LE Audio protocol. Hands free calling, we talked a little bit about presets for your hearing aids baked directly into your, your phone OS. You know, these are all things that we're able to do using this, this new standard. So I was, for example, able to use Oracast with the hearing aids before GN had their app running oh, because I could tune with the S23. I don't know if you had a chance to try the demo we had inside today, but QR codes, you know, is something that we are bringing in with Pixel devices. You're able to actually just snap a quick photo of that QR code and go directly into the broadcast.